Fernando Volko. Da. In die Tour kommt Spasiba. Rex Row. Ow. Fucking shit. What do you want? Congratulations. You're being redeployed. Thought we won that war. This is something different. What do they want this time? I don't know. It's in command. Oh, command. Oh, forget there. Double quick, sir. Where am I going? Good old Mother Russia. Alright, let me get my shit. We have a potential assignment for you, but this requires full support of the Russian Federation, not the Soviet Union. I would die for Russia, not Soviet Union. No, no. Now, how long did you work with uh, General Vladimir Koslov? Seven years. Two as army, five as Spetsnaz. Five as Spetsnaz. Okay. We have reason to believe that he is planning an overthrow of the Federation and a reinstatement of the Soviet Union. Moscow does not believe that he is a viable threat, but in time he will be. So we are acting now. What you will do is you will recon Kozlov's suspected location and you will call in an airstrike to that location. Am I to do this alone? Yeah. Americans are helping us. The US Marine will be in Rostov tomorrow. Is it Rossi? Da. Slava Russia. Slava Russia. Oh, Captain Volkov. Da? When a nation is at risk, there is no such thing as a pass with someone. Konechna. Lieutenant. How are you fighting Russia? Be like the state, sir. Yes, it is now that it's a democracy. Some people, however, do not like the fact that it's a democracy. One man in particular, Vladimir Koslov. He aims to reinstate the Soviet Union, and if we give him enough time, he might do just that. So it needs to be stopped. Unfortunately, our geniuses over in Washington don't want to allocate too many resources towards this. So we're going to team up with the Russians on this one. You're gonna go to Rostov. We're gonna team up with your Russian counterpart. You're gonna work with him and survey the suspected area and call in an airstrike. Yes, sir. And Steve, this is the first time we've worked with the Russians since World War II. So if you fuck this up, you're destroying decades of political progress. So don't fuck this up. I'll get it done, sir. Yeah, Steve Rex, bro. Uh, let us just speak in English. My English is probably better than your Russian. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, I am Yosef Volkov. Nice to meet you. Come on. So you worked with this guy before, right? Da. Seven years. Taught me everything I know. You're gonna be able to kill him? Da. <laughs>
next one. Spear. What? Lift off is in 15 minutes. I can't hear you because it's music. You're about to go medic, huh? Kozlov means in Russian. Sure. It means ship. Ship fucker. And Volkov, it means wolf. What is what is the word for that? Irony. Da. Irony. What does your name mean? Well, Rex wrote some abandoned town in Germany. And Steve, just like any other name in America. Doesn't mean shit. Nonsense. You were born in Russia, your name would be Stepan, which means you are a great warrior. Oh, really? Fuck no, it just means your name is Steve. Yeah, well, in America, we just call you Joe, and that don't mean shit either. <laughs> da. Da. Damn, it's a beautiful country you got here, you know that? Da. Daito. I grew up in a place that looked just like this. Yeah, me too. Minnesota. Something about the mountains. Just peaceful. Da. Da. Right there, around 11 o'clock, half mile out. How much do you want to bet Kozlov is in that direction? I'll give you one US dollar. In rubles, this should make you rich. It's rubles, and fuck you.
but also to Robotic Captain. I'm glad I can trust my guys with tough jobs like this. <laughs> no, no. Come on, get into the medics! Davai, Davai! Command wants to send you to Spetsnaz training. In my eyes, you already are Spetsnaz. You just need the name. Do I have choice in this? Yes. We need more Spetsnaz. This war is not going well. Da, I know. But, you see, the thing is... I don't want to leave these men. God knows, they will not last long without me. Josef, what happened today? It will not happen again. I will find a suitable replacement for you. I'll bring in reinforcements. You have my word. Good, good. When do I leave? Two days. Do I, will I still be serving under you? Da. For a show. You see, I think you are one of the only commanders around here who actually cares about his men. God knows. I'll follow you anywhere, sir. I have proposition. All right. Before calling an airstrike, I would like to assault Koslov's base. Just the two of us. Da. You fucking nuts. Tell me, what do you know of Kozlov other than that he is Soviet loyalist? You see, Kozlov, he was... He was different. Most Soviet generals would just send us straight at the enemy and not care. Not Kozlov. He cared about us. And I believe that he deserves more noble death than being blown to bits. Well, my orders are calling an airstrike and that's what I'm gonna do. Besides, I'm not willing to go two versus God knows what, just for an honorable death. Kill's a kill, if it's with a bullet or a bomb. You see, in Afghanistan, 1986, Iran stealth, operation. Small boy, he was going to compromise us. We were ordered to, to kill him, quietly. That was the night I slit a small boy's throat for, for Mother Russia. And every day, every day, I wish I could have at least done it with bullet. So tell me now, how bullet is same as airstrike. All right. <clears throat> Think about that kid you killed. That was an innocent civilian. Kozlov is a target. There's a major difference there. Never really knew her. My dad never really talked to, about her, really. And I mean, I really didn't talk to my dad either because he's an asshole. So, pretty typical drunk dad asshole story. One day I just ran away and joined the military. That's my first job. Fucking army recruit. The only thing I know what to do. What about your parents? My parents, they... They died in Kazakhstan famine. So, how, how would you survive? Cause love. Oh, fuck. Clock ticking.
appears as if Berlin Wall has fallen. Experts from the West say that Soviet Union will perish Joseph, in the next five years. What is it, sir? This, this, this I am not going to stand by while my country crumbles. We are going to act. I am sorry, sir, but I cannot follow you on this one. You think democracy is good for our country? Da. You know nothing, you westernized pig. I know that when people are starving, the last thing you should do is invade a country. I know that when a select few are drunk with power, the country needs to be given back to the people. Leave now before I shoot you. Gladly.
Vite. Stop, Devai. Oh. Devai. It's been a long time, no? That has. Is that more Spetsnaz outside? Yeah, no, uh, it is a uh, Yankee. <laughs> what is that like? Oh, well, you know, he is he is Yankee. He is asshole. <sighs> Hell, you and I, we have massive political differences, and we got along for twenty years. One Yankee must be nothing. That, that it is. He wanted to blow you to bits in airstrike. I convinced him otherwise. You just made your job harder. Da, no. I know. I'll use my gun and do it myself. What? No. Yosef, I am old school. Maybe I should die in the old world. I do not belong in this new changing one. I cannot let this happen. Yosef, either way, you leave, I get blown up in airstrike. You stay and do it yourself otherwise. Either way, I die. Let me do it myself, so you do not have to live knowing you killed the only family you had left. Not enough. Just promise me one thing. When you get home and discharge, find yourself a wife, have a child. For all the misfortune in this world, you deserve to be happy. You should go. Da. Do svidanja, mi tovariš. Da svidanja. Did you get him? Your country, mine's still gonna want their airstrikes, so it's clear out. So, why did you want to kill him face to face? Loose ends. Let's go.